Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and I am a complete hypocrite because this is my new car, my first new car in over 10 years, a 2021 Shelby GT500 with 760 horsepower. This is basically a hypercar in a Ford Mustang body. It's one of the coolest new cars that you can buy today, and well, I paid under MSRP for it. Partially just to prove a point and hopefully set a trend to end all this crazy new car dealer markup thing, but <laughs> on one of the coolest cars being built today. Now this came about completely by accident and not because of any YouTuber clout I had. It's actually a friend of mine who set this all up and then bailed on it and I just picked up the ball and ran. So yesterday I had no idea I was buying a new GT500, but let me tell you, I am, I am a very, very happy camper. So let's give you a tour of this thing in the showroom and take it out for a drive. See why it's so special and why I finally broke my rule and bought a brand new car with a warranty. But first I sort of want to have an inspection on it. So I've actually called up the car wizard. We're in Newton, Kansas at Conklin Cars. They're the ones that made this incredible deal on this Mustang. Uh, I just wanted him to look it over even though it's a new car. I mean, bear with me. Wizard! Want me to check out a car? Yeah, thank you so much for coming. It's a 2021 Shelby GT500 with uh, 18 miles. 18 miles? Yes. Why did you need me here? Well, I need to find out everything that's wrong with it. Uh, it's brand new. I don't know <laughs> if there's anything. Well, I, I, I haven't bought a new car in over 10 years, and it feels weird you not looking over a car, so can, can you just indulge me? I mean, <laughs> Okay, I can do that. <laughs> um, let's pop the hood, huh? Yeah. Uh, so it's got a little bit of a process. Yeah, there's a, a button. And a button and then a catch it's three very complicated but oh my goodness wow who built it is it john john williams the composer for star wars is the one who built the engine or is it jones williams jones oh okay all right not not the star wars composer no not him all right well any leaks um i honestly don't think there's going to be anything it's brand new yeah, I suppose there's a warranty in things. Carbon fiber composite. Wow. Been ran recently. Yeah. Yeah. 5W50 oil. Is that thick? That's pretty thick and girthy. That's yep. girthy? Yeah. All right, well, 760 horsepower, so. Um, but Is what I like. 760, you said? 760, a dual clutch, 0 to 60 in like 3.3 seconds. That's as fast as your McLaren almost uh, that you had. It's as fast as anything for a small fraction of the price. And unlike the Hellcat, can actually go around a track. I mean, this is a world-class supercar, basically, but it's a Mustang. I, wow. It's incredible. And the engine bay presentation is actually really nice. It's not covered up by a bunch of plastic covers and things. I mean, everything you see is, is well, practical, right? Yeah. That supercharger, and I guess the hose is going to intercooler. Mm-hmm. I don't foresee any, and I definitely don't see any. It looks immaculate. It, it, it does have a warranty. <laughs> I'm buying a new car. What am I doing? <laughs> I, I kind of wonder that myself. Why am I, I even I, here? I, 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 I'm sorry. I just wanted to share the moment with you, I guess. Okay, well, I appreciate it. It doesn't have the Recaro seats, Wizard, but these seats are just so comfy. And I know you like smells. Oh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they got rid of... Uh, extra vents and then put in these gauges, but it looks so cockpit really nice for a Mustang. I get that it's like an eighty thousand dollar Mustang, but yeah, the the toggle switches, the exhaust modes. I can't wait to play with all this stuff. It's amazing. Well, now that it has your seal of approval, I guess I can go do the paperwork. I think so. You, my... you can totally buy this with confidence. I assure you. My six car loan. Six. The six, yes. Six, six car loan, and uh, wow, right off into the sunset <laughs> in a car that I always tell people not to buy something that's so fast that you can't enjoy it at speeds, and not to buy a new car by a hoopty because it's more fun. And then well, I'm a total hypocrite, but I, 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 I don't care. Yeah, I would definitely go for this. Well, with Wizard Seal of Approval, I've come out of the finance office, signed my uh, sixth car loan, and here it is in all of its glory in highlighter yellow, a big, giant 16-inch steel brakes. Steel brakes, not carbon ceramics, but they still stop better than most new cars and exotics. Uh, just an incredible 
body. This car is sort of a low option one. It doesn't have the track pack, it doesn't have the Recaros, it doesn't have a lot of the carbon fiber, but I actually like that. As you saw with the Wizard earlier, the seats stock already have plenty of bolster. They're super comfortable, heated and cooled, and when you get the track pack, you give up the back seat, which I have two kids, so I can haul two small kids in the back in comfort in a 760 horsepower Mustang, which <laughs> I've always said these new high horsepower cars, you can never really enjoy at speed because to feel any limit to this car's performance, you have to uh, either be on the track or be doing something totally illegal. But I do plan on tracking this thing and enjoying it a lot. I'm told the color is much prettier in the sunlight and I've never heard this car actually run before. So let's, uh, let's get it out of the showroom and into the sunlight. My, my first new car in 10 years. doing. So inside it looked like a highlighter, on the outside it looks way more yellow. A lot more metallic. Whoa. Holy moly. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. Oh, it is so old school pony car, but crazy, crazy supercar at the same time. I mean, look at this. Just ridiculous. It looks like it belongs in the back of an 80s Camaro, I think as, as Doug DeMiro said, but uh, <laughs> just looks awesome. The GT500's unique nose. Yeah, just a great shape and a wild color. Exactly what you'd want with one of these. Now the braking period on this thing is 100 miles before I can really drive it hard. And then 1,000 miles before you can track it, there's a braking oil change at 500 miles. So I really have to behave myself. But there's so many cool modes, including an adjustable exhaust, which right now it's in normal. We can make it in sport or track or quiet. Oh. It just got Tesla quiet. I got to rev it a little bit. So this is quiet. That, that is very quiet. There's normal. That, that's a little better. Sport. Sounds about the same. Track. That, that sounds a little throat here. <laughs> that's, that's just so cool. Basically a captain's call on a car. If you don't want to make your neighbors mad, you can put it and quiet to get out of the neighborhood. Uh, it's just so cool. And I love that it has toggle switches like an old aircraft. You can put it in different modes. Normal, sport, track, track strip. Yes, this thing has launch control. And look how everything changes. It's just so dang cool. Slippery, we'll go back to normal. And like my 66 Shelby, it has its own special registry, M2832, <laughs> except this one uh, has a little more comforts than say the 66 Shelby track car. Bang & Olufsen sound system a foreign sound system that I haven't tried out yet. Now, like I said earlier, I got this car for a couple of thousand dollars under MSRP, and if you look at all the ones for sale in the country right now, they want 10, 20,000 over MSRP for these things, which is, it's just so silly. And dealers are doing this on new Hyundais and Kias and everything. I get that there's a supply shortage, but it takes a buyer to agree to those things in order for a dealer to have that transaction. And if we just didn't do it, unless you absolutely, absolutely had to buy a car, uh, there wouldn't be any of this craziness right now. Now, Conklin, where I'm buying this car in Newton, they realize this. They know that if they screw the customers that they have right now, they won't be customers in the future for multiple reasons. Number one, they'll be buried in their cars upside down to where they won't be able to afford to switch cars in a few years. Uh, if that or the car will break and it gets repossessed, their credit's ruined, or it's just not a good transaction because they kind of ripped them off. Uh, that they're not gonna come back. So that's why they did their normal price on this thing. They knocked it down a little bit. And this is actually my friend Rob that found this deal, then went in a different direction and passed on it. And he said, uh, Tyler, you want this thing? And I'm like, yeah, I want this thing. I guess it was originally ordered for somebody and they had to bail out on it for some whatever reason. But the sticker, let's see, $82,000? Well, 81,240, and they knocked a couple of grand off of that. Which two, year go, which two years ago on a Mustang would sound like you're getting ripped off, but on a GT500 in this day and age, that is, that is a deal. But we have the handling package, the technology package, a little extra carbon fiber, and really nothing else. But honestly, I'm hoping that I can start a trend here. Let's, let's end this right now. Let's all refuse to pay any dealer markups on any car over MSRP. If we all do it, it's over. 
But I'm being pretty naive right now because with the supply chain issues seemingly getting worse, uh, uh, that may not happen in the near future because we still don't have enough supply to meet demand. I mean, obviously, a lot of people want a GT500. I kind of lucked into it, but we all just waited our turn on the C8s and we waited our turn on these, like Porsches and Ferraris. If you just just wait, just just be patient and something like this will pop up eventually. And I still can't believe I did this, a, a brand new car. My first one in 10 years. The last one was a 2011 Volkswagen GTI that I bought in Rhode Island and drove it all the way home, $23,000, kept it for a year, sold it to CarMax for like a $3,000 loss. So that's the last time I've been able to do this on anything that wasn't like a company car or something. Oh, all right, uh, peeled the sticker off, <laughs> triggered some music. I do need to think of a first song on my first drive. I mean, of course this is what the first song is going to be in the car. <laughs> I mean, this is only possible because you all watch these videos, so thank you so much. Well, I haven't stopped driving for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to, and number two, I need to get over that 100-mile threshold to be, well, somewhat broken into where I can vlog this thing, which we are at now. So. Here we go. decision because this does offer a really nice old school muscle car experience but modern performance modern comforts wow okay <laughs> well uh, not regretting this decision one bit that happened uh, totally on a whim seventh gear and it's whisper quiet and comfortable. I could drive this thing cross country right now. It's so impressive. This is the top of the mountain when it comes to performance of the internal combustion engine and really the end because automakers are moving past this now because of federal mandates and well what more could they do? I mean how much traction can you give a Mustang with 760 horsepower? You, you just you just run out of traction. You run out of the laws of physics with this kind of power. This is really it. By the end of the decade, it's likely no automaker is gonna be building a car like this ever again. So that's why I felt okay about buying one and specifically this one as opposed to others, which I'll pull over and talk about in my final thoughts. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm sure Henry Ford had no idea 100 years ago what the brand would be building nowadays. Behind me is actually a 100-year-old Ford dealership and uh, Lee Iococo probably didn't imagine the Mustang being like this either. But the heritage here of Shelby, obviously me having an old one, uh, helped me purchase one. But also I think this is the best of the three cars. Its main competition, the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, even the Red Eye with the wide body and some track preparation, couldn't hold a candle to this thing on the track. And the Chevy Camaro ZL1, while a great value, 30 grand less than say this car here, it's just not on the same planet, although they do offer it with a manual transmission. So my first new car in 
over a decade. I think I did right. I think so. Thank you so much for watching.